Good morning, or afternoon, or evening, uh, depending on where the globe, on the globe, you live. Uh, and it's time for another brunch from the Doomstead Diner, and Collapse Cafe, and Snap Card Gourmet, and uh, Cooking Zone, okay? I think I got them all. I think I'm getting that down. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, we've had a lot of bento boxes in the last few days, okay? Uh, I don't know, seven, eight bento boxes? And I'm still going, okay? I still got bento box material in the fridge or in the freezer outside, you know, the Great Alaska Freezer. Uh, and uh, so... I get tired of it, okay? Uh, you know, you can only eat so many bento boxes. <laughs> no matter how good they are, or, or whatever. Uh, and so I decided for today, for today's brunch, that I would uh, do my own Asian cooking, okay? And, uh, and what I did for today uh, wasn't, it's not strictly Japanese, okay? Uh, it's a combination. Uh, I uh, did an egg fried rice, okay? You'll see the picture on the video when I publish it. And I did, uh, now that's, so that's Chinese more or less. And uh, then I did uh, my own miso soup, which is way better than any miso soup that you will ever get in any Japanese restaurant. And I'm talking top of the line Japanese restaurants. I load it up and it's thick and rich. I use uh, miso bean paste and, uh, you know, add, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, tofu and uh, mushrooms and, you know, whatever I, you know, feel like putting in it. Uh, goes in, and by the time I'm done, it's a meal in itself, all right, uh, and uh, this is one, basically, cup of miso, but I probably made mm, two or three bowls uh, worth of miso soup when I did the batch, and so now there's that stuff in the fridge, okay, uh, and it doesn't cost me much, all right? Uh, one cup of miso like this, two bucks, maybe, something like that. And my fried rice, it costs pretty close to nothing, all right? Because I use rice from the, uh, the meal that I bought, and so it's getting reused for this. And I just, uh, I just you know, perked it up. Uh, and it's got veggies in it, and uh, besides the egg. So it's, and this, this meal, by the way, is 100% vegetarian. Even the miso soup, which usually I use a fish broth. But for this occasion, I use vegetable broth. Because I haven't done anything for the vegans here in the diner in a while. And, you know, they got to eat too. <laughs> so, uh, so the miso soup is 100% vegan, and the uh, the fried rice also vegan. Uh, the pr uh, protein, the animal protein in there is egg, and now vegans will eat eggs, or at least some of them. Uh, you know, uh, there are varying degrees of veganism, uh, uh, vegetarianism, or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, and, you know, I mean, you're eating and killing incipient chickens. It's like an abortion, right? If you eat an egg, that could have been a chicken. So, how can you consider yourself a animal lover if you're killing chickens, incipient chickens, by eating their eggs? Okay? That doesn't make sense to me. 
Uh, and then there's all sorts of other conflicts with veganism that I'm not going to go into because that's not the actual uh, topic for today's discussion. You know, I'm just going over my food. <laughs> so, and besides the soup and the uh, fried rice, the egg fried rice, I've got a salad here, okay? It's kind of Japanese salad. Uh, and I haven't decided what kind of dressing I'm going to put on. It's not going to be Japanese dressing. It'll probably be Greek or Italian or something like that. Because uh, I don't think I have any Japanese dress dressing uh, in my cupboard. So it's going to be some other kind. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, and then, uh, no sake today. All right. Well, actually, I do have a little sake left over here. Ah. But that's not the main beverage of the day. The main beverage of the day is... And I know you've been missing these guys, a Bloody Mary, <laughs> in the skull glass, okay? Uh, and there's no uh, skewer in there, and no egg, uh, orange chopped egg, you know, or whatever, you know, the, the other uh, uh, decorations that I'll put on here and add uh, nutritional value, because... You know, I'm not going to be able to finish what I got on the plate here right now. It's not going to happen, okay? If I get through half of it, that would be very good. Uh, and then uh, we have Dimitri. Dimitri is back, okay? The Bloody Mary seasoning from Dimitri. And uh, I'm still working through the uh, uh, samples that Dimitri sent me. So... Uh, uh, he's still a sponsor, okay, until I finish those samples. And then we'll see if he'll send me more. That would be nice, right? You know, these guys cost like $25 a bottle, all right, if you buy them in a liquor store. And I got three of them from Dimitri, all right? So that's like $75 worth of value for free, all right? Uh, it doesn't help pay for the diner, but it certainly helps my drinking habit. <laughs> uh, and then in addition to that a new sponsor yay who is this guy it is Key West pepper sauce alright it's a new pepper sauce that I am trying out and uh, you know uh, it's cayenne I like habanero generally speaking but uh, you know pepper sauce pepper sauce right and I don't put that much in anyway, anymore. Uh, I don't make my Bloody Mary that spicy. Ah, and the Bloody Mary has all the rest of the usual shit in it. Uh, if you watch one of my earlier videos, you know what I put in a Bloody Mary. I'm not going to go over that again. All right, so that's the food for the day. And, uh, and now we're on to... The collapse of the day, all right? And what's happening on the screen? Oh, guys making up nice uh, Chinese. I, I can't uh, chop, chop shit that fast anymore. <laughs> uh, he is quick, all right? Uh, but even, you know, crippled as I am, it does not take me long to make a, a, a bowl of fried rice. Uh, several bowls, really. Uh, maybe 20 minutes, uh, even without doing it at, you know, warp speed, <laughs> like this guy's doing it. Uh, oh, bean sprouts, that's nice. I think the, those are bean sprouts. Uh, I don't have any beans, bean sprouts in here. I want to grow some, though. I'm going to get to that uh, soon. I got so many projects I want to get to. All right, all right, forget the food. Let me get off the food topic. All right, let me look at what's going on in collapse. All right, Trump grants clemency to Blagojevich, Milliken, and Kerry. Now, this bullshit is insane. I mean, you got a list of criminals here, and the top criminal 
gets to grant clemency to all the lower level criminals. What kind of fucking justice system is that? Can somebody explain that to me, please? I don't understand. How is that uh, American uh, founding fathers, constitutional, etc., etc., uh, law? I, I, I don't get it, all right? So uh, Trump is going to uh, 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 declare clemency for these people. And then, let's see, uh, Mike Bloomberg, this guy has uh, rocket himse rocketed himself to one of the top positions in the Democratic race to run against Trump Ovechki. All right, he actually made this next debate. And, uh, you know, he has billions of dollars and he's going to spend them or spend a, a decent portion <coughs> to try to get himself elected as president. Uh, and now, again, how the fuck is that democratic? You know, if you got billions of dollars, you can buy the airtime and buy your way in to whatever the fuck you want to. Alright? I mean, when was the last time somebody who wasn't, you know, at least a millionaire elected president? Uh, I can't remember. And then, after their president, they become even bigger millionaires and billionaires and so forth. I mean, the Clintons, you know, they were, you know, average rich people when uh, Bill was uh, governor of Arkansas, was it, I think? Uh, and uh, Hillary was a, uh, a lawyer. And, uh, but, you know, they got involved with the Bilderbergers and money started flowing in. And before you know it, Bill Clinton was president, and then Hillary tried to uh, uh, take her turn as president, uh, but she failed. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, although we got Trump instead, so I'm not sure whether that was good or bad. That's very tough to uh, evaluate. <laughs> but, uh, you know. Hindsight is always twenty twenty vision, and we don't know what Hillary would have done had she been elected. Hmm. Ah, good. Ah. Uh, maybe a little short on the beef broth. Whatever. Uh, so, you know, it's always rich people that are getting elected to these offices. And you look at Congress, I mean, at least half of them are millionaires or more. And uh, are these people really representative? I mean, it's supposed to be a representative democracy, a republic, right? They're supposed to represent you and your interests. But they don't because they're fucking rich. All right? The interests they represent are their own and the people who pay for their campaigns. And that's how our political system works right now. And it's a fucking joke. All right? It's so corrupt, so messed up that, you know, it's FUBAR. Fucked up beyond all repair. <laughs> uh, and we got to get rid of it, uh, you know, one way or the other, uh, which will happen. Uh, eventually. Uh, but how long it's going to take for that is an open question. Uh, I don't know. I can't answer that question for you. Uh, you know, I can answer a lot of questions, but I can't answer that one. Uh, so, uh, you know, I get tired of watching politics, and that's why I spend my time cooking, 
uh, and you know, uh, puttering around the house and uh, uh, dealing with medical officers on the phone, which is always a lot of fun. That can take a whole fucking day, you know. Uh, and, uh, you know, trying to sort out the politics, it's going to go how it goes. You can't affect it. No matter how you vote, no matter what you fucking do, you will not make a change in the trajectory of our political system. So, focus on keeping yourself and your family and your friends safe. And well fed, too. That's important. Okay? So have good preps on hand for shit hits the fan day, which will eventually come. And, uh, you know, I hope it comes after I die, because I like to eat well. <laughs> so, uh, so, you know, I don't want to go to the uh, store and find empty shelves. That would be very depressing, uh, you know. Uh, but I could survive still for a few years, because I got so many preps in my warehouse here, right? All right. Uh, so that's my uh, diatribe for today on collapse and what's going on in the world and my latest celebration of the 8th anniversary of the Doomstead Diner which, uh, you know, is going to go for the entire month of February at this point because I still got a lot of shit that I got to say and uh, a lot of video uh, that uh, it, I've either done already or I have plans to do. So, you know, you're stuck with it. <laughs> Unless you don't watch it. But a few people do. So that's 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 all, all I really care about uh, is the people who actually watch it. And that's all they're doing. Uh, this time... Until next time, here on the Collapse Cafe, Cooking Zone, Snap Card Gourmet of the Doomstead Diner. Asta la Flight Lice. <laughs>